Most whale falls occur in a realm of absolute isolation far below the reach of human experience. We are talking about thousands of meters down, a world of total suffocating darkness where sunlight has never penetrated. Here, the pressure is an unimaginable force, a constant crushing weight capable of deforming steel and collapsing submarines. This is not a place for flesh and blood. No diver has ever descended to witness this process with their own eyes. It exists beyond the limits of our physical endurance. Our direct perception ends long before this depth. Therefore, everything we know about this hidden world comes to us secondhand through machines. Our understanding is a digital translation a collection of pixels and data points. Remotely operated vehicles serve as our fragile proxies. These technological avatars, bristling with cameras, piercing lights, and delicate robotic arms, descend on tethers of fiber optic cable. They are our eyes in the abyss. And when those mechanical eyes finally turn their gaze upon the skeletal remains resting in the eternal midnight, they captured images that challenged all logic. They saw something that should not exist, something impossible. What the ROV cameras revealed was both beautiful and unnerving. Emerging directly from the ancient bones were vast colonies of thin, waving filaments. They were a deep, arterial red, a vivid and startling color against the bleached white of the whalebone and the barren gray of the sea floor. At first glance, they looked like some form of deep sea plant, a soft meadow swaying in a silent current, or perhaps a strange new species of coral, a fragile garden taking root upon the remains. The filaments waved with a gentle hypnotic rhythm, a slow dance in the perpetual dark. But their most disturbing feature was their anchor point. They were not merely clinging to the skeleton surface. They were rooted deep inside it, emerging from tiny boreholes, as if the very marrow of the bone was sprouting this crimson living fur.